the strange fortress, with neither entrances nor windows, stood silent. But behind the forbidding walls, a spaceship stood on its launching pad. Beside it, the controller of Space Project X was speaking into his robotoid control transmitter. Bring the prisoners here! Immediately, four of the strange floating spheres drifted slowly towards him. Let me see them. Research station is forbidden territory. Who sent you to spy on me? We are not spies. My father is captain of the Myron space fleet. We had to make a forced landing. Please, let us go. I do not believe your story, but it can be checked by microwave teleroid. Calling Myron Space HQ. Controller to captain. Controller to captain. Emergency. Emergency. Over. Bleep, Booster, Twink and Blink held their breath as the controller sent his message. Identification was vital. But then the captain's face appeared. And although he identified the boys, the controller was still far from pleased. Release the prisoners. Booster landed with a bump as the sucker released its grip. And as the others dropped to the ground, the spheres moved off. Until Project X is launched, you cannot leave the research station. You will stay with me until the captain arrives to collect you. I am the controller of Project X. This is an experimental spaceship, which I have built here in secret with the help of my amazing robotoids. Please, sir, interrupted Blink. What do you want? If your robotoids are so clever, could they repair our space cat? Quiet, Blink. But much to their surprise, the controller replied, My robotoids can do anything. I myself have programmed them. Four of the floating robotoids drifted away over the wall to where the space cat lay in the crater. With their suction pads firmly attached to the hulls, they carried it back to the research station quite effortlessly. As they floated off, the controller said, These repairs will be no problem, but now you must go to your quarters. You have already seen far too many secrets. Twink and Blink were put into one small cabin-like room, and Bleep and Booster were given a similar one. Cheer up. Tomorrow, we should all be back on Myron. Oh, good, yawned Booster. Already his eyes were closing. It had been a long and exciting day. As darkness fell upon the fortress and its experimental spaceship, the robotoids kept silent watch around its walls. But Twink and Blink were not yet asleep. I say, Blink, I would like to see inside that secret spaceship Yes, there might be some food supplies, and I am hungry. Let us try to find it, said Twink, and he opened the door as Blink slipped out of bed. They peered out, this way and that. There was no one about. Quietly, the boys tiptoed along a winding passage, and suddenly there it was, Spaceship X gleaming in the starlight. There was a ladder leading to an open hatchway. Without hesitating, they began to climb hand over hand until at last they reached the top. Inside, everywhere they looked, there were dials and switches, levers and tubes. Spaceship X was packed with test equipment. Twink made his way to the control panel, while Blink looked about for food. He found one promising looking door, but a notice said, do not open. They were very curious. As Twink joined him, Blink said, Perhaps it is a special food stuff for the crew. Let us see. 
but when the door was opened, there was only a porthole covered by a grill. The boys were disappointed. Why make so much fuss about opening that? wondered Blink. They continued exploring, and at last they found a hatchway leading into the galley. One cupboard was full of bottles of brightly coloured drinks. Another was stacked with food. Blink's greedy eyes gleamed, and soon the boys were sitting down to an enormous feast. But outside, already the darkness was fading. The sun was slowly rising above the fortress walls, and little by little it crept along the shining length of the spaceship, moving towards the grill that Blink had left open. And just as the boys were deciding to go back to bed, the sunlight was streaming in through the open porthole. The power and force of the sun's rays had triggered off the delicate ignition firing pins of the solar engines. Twink and Blink were heading for outer space. The secret spaceship was completely out of control.